I was trying to record a voiceover for a video I'm about to send you. But these two chaps, whom I can now see clearly in my duct tape repaired mirror, are discussing nonsense very loudly next to my vehicle, unaware that it is in fact the recording studio of filmmaker, survivalist and human potential exponent socks with sandals look at that forget to tie up the bungee cord just once and everything has fallen down there. check it out free garlic and herb sauce that was really nice of those chavs to have left that for me thank you littering chav however this has turned into an opportunity to virtue signal so i can pick up someone else's rubbish and shove it into the bin that is actually really close Hmm. Oh, I'm in the zone now. Look, there's a couple more of them. There's still some left in this Lucas Aiden Rio Tropical. Nah. Stop video. Enough lounging around, I am really craving an arctic roll. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's more like it, Sainsbury's. Litre of semi-skim milk, 52p. Or you can pay three pence more for half a litre. Well, I was pleasantly surprised by the reductions in Sainsbury's today. So how much did all this cost in Sainsbury's today? A premium pomegranate and acai smoothie, a litre of milk, a salad bowl, big chocolate bar, and yoghurt. No, you're wrong. Four pounds fifty-nine. Right. I've gone for a few days now without shooting any film. I thought, yeah, I was getting carried away with all the edits and uh, everyone seemed to be enjoying it, but I thought, no, calm down. I need some first-hand subjective experience of the awareness of consciousness itself. That pasta salad was amazing. I think it might be the first time in over a month I've eaten something with more than one ingredient except for cheesy chips and curry. Lovely. Every time I drink the innocent pomegranate and acai smoothie, I do actually feel my eyesight and skin tone improve. Now, uh, Innocent Smoothies are not the sponsor of this video, but uh, if they ever want to be the sponsor of a future video, I would gladly quaff down their product in as much as they can send me. And uh, if they want to help sponsor this channel, they'd be more than welcome. Mm. I'll rotate the label 
take two. Mmm. I haven't quite reached the state of van life zen where I can just sit in a supermarket car park and uh, be entertained by various people going to and from their vehicles in the shop. I just bow to the master. All I have to do to charge up my laptop with this uh, very cheap inverse from Amazon is just drive a couple of miles every day. So the laptop battery capacity is six and a half amp hours at five volts and the vehicle battery capacity is 40 amp hours at 12 volts. So that's uh, see. So five twelfths of six fortieths equals insert graphic here. What is five twelfths of six fortieths? The answer is seventy six point eight. Means that this has only six and a quarter percent of the total storage of the starter battery. That explains it. Right, better get out of here before I see the limit. Sit down somewhere and drag a load of videos out of my phone and GoPro, put some nutty little soundtracks down, and see what kind of nonsense I can come up with for you. Do you own a Citroen or Peugeot and have the following problem with your horn? Turn the engine on. No horn. Turn the engine off. No horn. Turn the key off. No horn. Take the key out. What's that all about? Well, you can deduce what it's not. Clearly it's working, so it's not the fuse, it's not the horn itself, and it's not the switch in the steering wheel. There's some other fault. The answer is coming in a future video, so no need to write in.